So as our project gets larger, it is going to be quite tedious for us to always having to list out this full path. And that is one of the reasons why we use a config. So another reason is that we can set a number of paths and dependencies in our config that we can use then in various files. So for example, there might be some dependencies that we don't want to use in main.js, but we want to use in a second JavaScript file. So in that case, we're going to keep one configuration of all of our dependencies, methods, and libraries, uh, which we can then call at various points um, in our project. So we do this using the require.config syntax. Now this could be require or require.js. So remember we can use either um, before the config or even before our require call. So then we need to set a base URL. Notice the camel casing here. And this base URL is going to be a URL relative to which all of our files are going to be loaded. So all of our dependency files. And I'm going to set this to lib. So what this is doing is setting this base URL to this lib folder. So all of our files will be loaded relative to this path. And then we need to set the paths for our dependencies. So again, notice paths, this, just keep an eye on this syntax so you don't make any silly errors. And in the paths, we set the paths to our files. So here we can create a name for this dependency, which I'm going to call dep, uh, short for dependency. And then we need the file name, which is dependency.js. Now also note that the .js is also appended, so we don't actually need that. So we can remove it. And then in our require call, we just have to now point to dep. And what that is going to do is going to look at our base URL. So it's going to navigate to our lib folder, and then it's going to be looking for a file called dependency.js. And it will be loading this file here. Also note what we can do is we can actually pass parameters in this function call. Um, so for example, if you're loading an object, um, you can define a parameter to then use that object in this function. So we will go into that in a later lesson, um, but just also worth noting. Um, okay, so let's see if this has worked as expected. And you can refresh and I need it first and then load me second. Okay, cool. So that is the start of our config file. In the next lesson, we're going to be loading jQuery into our project.